How's it going guys? This is Jeremy. I wanted to make a video to show you guys my new setup here. Got another bookcase now. Got room for everything. And uh, everything's organized a little better. So I'm going to go through here, show you guys all my books again, and show you some of the uh, new stuff I've gotten recently. So on the top shelf here, we have all of the original Goosebump books lined up all the way across. On top of that, we have all of the uh, Give Yourself Goosebumps, the two triple headers, and the six tails to give you goosebumps. Got my book light right here, which I never took out of the box. Little cuddles. My candle. And this, my wife recently got for me. It's a pen. Um, I guess it's supposed to make noise or do something, but I haven't put any batteries in it yet to make sure if it works. But whether it does or doesn't, I'm still happy that she got it for me either way. So on the second shelf here, we have all of the Horrorland books. Hall of Horrors. Most Wanted, and all of the Slappy World books so far. Got some newer reprints back there. My audio tapes. Most of this is all TV episodes. I don't have all of those yet. Got the Caps books up top. A small reprint of Revenge of the Living Dummy. This is a Euro European TV book. This is an Indian reprint of It Came From The Internet. And right there would be all of the Goosebump 2000 books. Along with my 3D printed thing and my Magellan. So the third shelf down is uh, kind of random but still kind of stuck with a certain thing here. Uh, mostly all hardback stuff, but there's the children's books, activity books from the movie. Uh, this is all short story stuff. Some hardbacks of the original series. Here's the comic books. This one right here, Horrors of the Witch House, is one that my wife recently got me for Christmas. Um, Just Beyond, I'm still missing the third one. The Goosebump Graphics, the newer comic book they made a while back, Hardback Compilations, The Garbage Pail Kids. I don't know if I showed this. I bought this in store. It wasn't gifted to me or anything. I just don't think I've shown it yet. Monster Edition books, Fright Light, It Came From Ohio, Haunted Lighthouse, I showed that before. This is something that my wife recently got me, a hardback library version of Ghost Next Door. Goosebump movie novels, some more random stuff, it's really hard to categorize those books. The postcard books, my wife recently bought me the second one, that's new. And over here, we got all the Man-Thing comics. Just squeeze them up in the corner. So I just wanted to show this off real quick. This is one of the postcards in the uh, second book. But I don't think I have ever seen this picture before. Just this picture of Curly riding on the horse. It's a really awesome picture. Like, I love this. I would love to have a poster of this. Kind of get this weird, like, Iron Maiden, like, the trooper kind of vibe from this picture. But, yeah, it's really so awesome. So this next shelf down is another mix of stuff, but mostly it's uh, Rotten School, Mostly Ghostly, and Nightmare Room. That's the majority of what's on this shelf. Some of the Twist of Plot books right there. Space Cadets. Some standalone stuff. Goof Lumps, which I know isn't really an R.L. Stein thing, but since it's a parody, I have it anyways. Some 80s stuff up here, joke books, Indiana Jones stuff, more twist of plot, G.I. Joe books, the Hark books, Nightmare Room. Uh, I recently got the third book in this thrilogy, uh, but the one I ordered, I didn't realize it at the time, it's the European version, so it's a little bit different from the other two, but... The American version of this book is kind of pricey right now, so until then, I'll just take the European one. Now, the very bottom shelf down here is just a few random books that uh, aren't R.L. Stein stuff. I have a Ramyan series right there. I know I have some Indian subscribers on my channel. If I said that name wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, the first three volumes of Vampire Hunter D. Yasha Keaton books. I just recently started buying these. It's the same guy that wrote Vampire Hunter D. We have book one and four so far. Resident Evil. All seven of those books. Everworld. 
Uh, this is a series that was written by the girl that wrote Animorphs. There's only 12 books in this series. I have, I think, seven of them so far. Read the first three, but uh, it's actually really good. And Gods of Eden. If you are interested in, like, ancient alien type stuff or anything like that, this is a really interesting book. Now, here's the top of the second bookshelf. This was actually the original bookshelf that was in my room. But right here, all across the bottom here, we have the original Fear Street books. Up top would be the standalone stuff. Babysitter compilation. Halloween night compilation. And over here would be some of the stuff my wife got me recently. Got a hardback version of The Prom Queen. Hardback version of Missing. And another one for The Dare. The Dare book's a little bit bigger than the other ones. But it's always fun to have hardbacks. So the second shelf down would be all of these super chiller books. Um, the Cheerleader books, Fear Street Saga, 99 Fear Street, Cataluna Chronicles, and Fear Park. We have all of the Fear Street Sagas right there. And then those uh, four random Fear Street books that came out. Hardback version of Curtains. Some standalone teen stuff from like the late 80s, early 90s. Goodnight Kiss compilation. Fear Street Nights. Silent Night compilation, Fair Street Saga compilation, and then all of the Fair Street Senior books. The third shelf under that would be uh, the Fair Street novels that came out a little a couple years back. Uh, the three newer ones they made. Then right here is all of the Ghost of Fear Street books. Now this right here was something my wife got me for Christmas, but I already had this book. She didn't know I had it, as why she normally doesn't buy books for me. Um, but this one has this uh, weird like plastic cover on it, which this is the first printing and my book right there is the first printing as well. So this one's just in better condition than mine. So I guess it's still fun to have a second copy. Can't even see this, but this is just a Zelda journal that I have. It's not really a journal, it's more of a notebook. Then the uh, Ghost of Fear Street compilation books. I only had one of these before, which was number four. So for Christmas, my wife got me all the remaining books that I didn't have. Fair Street Compilation. This is another copy of Party Games, which is signed by R.L. Stein. So the third shelf down, we have Red Rain and Superstitious, Dangerous Girls 1 and 2, Betrayal, which is a compilation of the Fair Street Saga trilogy. Cursed is the first three books of the Fair Street Sagas. Temptation, which is a Good Night Kiss compilation. The Sitter, Bitten, which is a Dangerous Girls compilation. Now I have all 12 of the Fear Street uh, Collector's Edition compilations. I have been trying to collect those recently. Finally have all of them. The only thing that bothers me is this one right here. Number 9. All of these right here are like Archway paperback printings. And then this one's Simon Pulse. And it's a little bit taller than all the others. And uh, that really bothers me. Just that this one's taller than all the others. It's just a weird thing that... Probably no one notices but me. Then we got paperback for Red Rain Superstitious. Eye Candy, which I recently got a hold of. And yet another version of Dangerous Girls. And that's my microphone I use for my audiobooks. And then the very bottom of the second bookshelf is just the manga collection that I recently showed a video of. Nothing's changed with this other than Death Note number 4. That got added since doing so that So since video. adding the second bookshelf, uh, I lost my space for my movies here. So for right now, they're just all stacked on the floor in between the bookcases. My Stimpy doll that I found at a Goodwill years ago. He used to fart when you would squeeze him, but uh, he kind of don't really work anymore. It's pretty sad when he stopped farting. It's the whole reason I bought this thing. But uh, he's from like 1992 on the tag, so this thing's close to 30 years old. But yep, Stimpy doll and Goosebump movies. Lastly would be the top of the bookcases. We have my masks, Horror Land Mask. The Curly Mask, which was signed. It's fading, but there's nothing I can do about that. My puzzle, the Eureka Castle toys. My backpack over there, which my wife got me. 
a slappy doll. And my wife got me this right here for Christmas. Um, obviously I have this book, but I did not have it with this little box with the boxers. Obviously I'm not going to wear the boxers, but I do remember when I was younger, uh, more tales to give you goosebumps number six. I had like in a box set with this and it came with a little glove over here. It looked like the hand that's in, uh, how to kill a monster. Don't have that anymore, but, uh, any fans of Final Fantasy, we got Titus over here. I know his name is supposed to be pronounced Titus, but I do not like that. I like Titus. This has nothing to do with R.L. Stein, but my wife uh, got me this awesome Final Fantasy record for Christmas. Totally excited about that. It's my favorite soundtrack. No Zone from Toxic Crusaders. Goosebumps Wii game. DS game hidden back there. Uh, another puzzle. One that's not been opened. Here's the box to the one that's on the wall. And an original box set box. Right there and right there. Well, that would be it for the uh, new setup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. To be honest with you, I don't remember how many books I have. I get tired of like recounting them every time I do one of these videos. I know I have at least 580 books. It's just hard to count them. As far as duplicates and reprints, it's hard to give an official count on everything but all i know is that i got a lot of stuff thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys next time